Hi, my name's Catherine May, and at the moment I'm very much craving burying myself in a library and reading hundreds of books, but all the libraries in the UK are closing, so I'm hoping that by talking to you guys I can vicariously live that. Does it work that way? I'm also here to tell you about my book called Wintering, which is coming out with Riverhead on the 1st of December this year. Wintering is uh, part memoir and part many other things uh, and it's an exploration of the ways that sometimes our lives are frozen and left out in the cold but also what we can learn from the people who are intimate with cold climates uh, in order to survive and to maybe even thrive during those periods of life when we feel frozen, like we've fallen through the cracks or like we've hit a fallow period. As you can imagine, that has been very relevant to UK readers of the book in recent months um, for reasons that I didn't intend at all. Uh, when I was writing Wintering, my own life hit a series of bumps, which I write about in the book. Um, first of all, my husband became uh, seriously and dangerously ill. And as he was recovering, I fell ill too. Um, I left my long-standing and secure academic job. Um, and I also had to give up work for a while when my son became unable to attend school for a period of time. Um, and amid this series of disasters, I began to think about how I could draw on my love of winter to understand how I could survive these periods better, but also to recognise how these fellow periods are part of life cycle and something that we shouldn't be very surprised about. So wintering contains loads of different insights, ranging from the people in Finland who have to prepare to get snowed in for long periods of time, uh, from ice swimmers who embrace the cold and what it does to the body and the mind, and I became an ice swimmer myself, um, to animals who hibernate. Uh, I had a lovely encounter with a very beautiful hibernating dormouse in the, in the course of writing the book, uh, and things like trees and how they um, adapt during the winter and how winter isn't actually a dead period, but a time when life is uh, fostered and fermented. Um, I hope you'll enjoy wintering. Um, I suppose the conclusions of the book are about how rest and retreat can have a huge and powerful impact on our lives and that sometimes even when we're forced into these periods of retreat that we don't want, that actually we can um, embrace them and at least get the most out of them, uh, even if we suffer very genuinely during them. Um, that's all from me. Thank you for listening uh, and I hope you'll enjoy wintering. Bye.